let's just start this way. Let's get your overall assessment, as it were, concerning the elections of yesterday. Well, so far, so good. I had no complaint. I watched it throughout. It was peaceful and very clean. Until later in the afternoon, when we started to hear rumors. And I only hope from the statement the Yakubu has said, he will take care of the rumor. That why is it delayed the offloading of uh, presidential results? That gives room for suspicion. Because we had it before, during the, uh, the other election. The announcement was announced so far. And because the I was willing, then they stopped it. By the time they come back at 6 p.m. and they announce it, they said they will cancel the election. So we have the watch. I only hope he will not allow the devil to spoil his work. He has done fine so far, making everything play. But the security are not doing their job. I must say that. Because when you talk about rigging, the question of the security, the police, they are involved and I know. So far, so good. I never decided to get himself off. Today now, we are, we are, we are understand some leaders of the labor have been attacked their house with, 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 with arms and uh, battle for him to be, to, to change his own in one of the situations in Lagos. That will help the situation. When the people want to attack him, went to his house, where are the security? Where are the policemen that police the bastard or that oh, over Nigeria, over because we have so many people? Where are they? And the confusion that took place in Lagos yesterday, why should it take place? Killing people. Because they mean that there's no there's no there's no honesty of action among the security. All right. And um, the governor is here. All right, and the the commander, you cannot claim to be ignorant about that. He's doing fine. He has done his best so far. He must not spoil it at the tail end because people are watching. All right, Tampa Debanjo, it's good that you have mentioned um, your um, observation so far. You said that uh, INECAM has done um, tremendously well, although you uh, faulted the level of security uh, that uh, was experienced um, some part of Lagos and, of course, some other states now. But who do we hold accountable to all of that, for all of that, rather? Is it uh, on the part of um, the, uh, the police force uh, not uh, uh, providing adequate security or the fact that um, Nigerians were not actually educated on how to conduct themselves uh, accordingly no, at polling no, units? No, don't put it on the people. That is why the commander in chief is there. They, to protect life and property. We must leave room for miscreants. That is why we have the police and the security and the other uh, security ministry to take care of mis miscreants. And they are not doing that. It shows their negligence or incompetence or willing collusion. People are on guard about this election. Make no mistake about it. Any sleep anywhere can send the country in conflagration. It is not it is not the state irrigating anybody. You can see the enthusiasm within the, the, the young men and women went to the polls. You come out now and say the, the position is the opposite. God has given up peace so far. I think I've been doing for so far. Let the security and the police live up to expectation. Let the commander in chief live up to expectation and be on, on his toes, on, the, on his officers to ensure that what the social he gives them is implemented. Not giving them and then don't give us the impression that your body language is not, does not work your talk. All right, Pa, Adebanjo, uh, fine. In as much as the people should not be blamed, according to you, for that, uh, wouldn't, shouldn't we be placing some of um, the blame on political parties who uh, allegedly um, hired these um, folks and miscreants to, you know, to stop the election, <coughs> to mar the election, as it were? 
my dear, my, I'm not unaware of that. If that is why the security people are put, to, are put on the alert, you can't avoid criminal society. That's why the police is there. That's why the DSS is there to take care of them and deal with them to deter others of doing so. You can't avoid that at all. All right. But because if, 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 if the people know that there is consequence of their inaction, they will behave. But when you is apparent there's a collusion, there's inaction. When they commit, by, by the time they are doing all the all the uh, all, 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 all the misbehavior should be yesterday. Where are the security? Where they are scattered on the ballot papers. And these are the things the Ayana has told us. He has agreed with the security. You don't expect Ayana to do that. That's why I'm, 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 I'm excluding Ayana. And I don't want him to, to get the himself involved with the question of not unloading the results. On the security aspect, we know where to put the blame. But don't get it, don't, you should not allow yourself to be involved. Because all eyes are on him. All eyes are on him, all eyes are on the president, who is in charge of the security. And all eyes are on the security who has to implement execution of peace and order. All right, Padre Banjo, let's to look at um, the electoral umpire, that's the Independent National Electoral Commission. Uh, you seem to be giving them um, kudos for um, uh, a job well done. But most people uh, have actually faulted the process uh, yesterday. Uh, we, we had reports of um, election materials and, of course, personnel not arriving on time. How would you react to that? Well, that's very unfortunate. That is, it's not wrong, but I'm, I'm, I'm aware of that. But I don't, in human life, you, I give room for uh, some sort of things, but such things shouldn't happen. Take for instance, I don't want to emphasize they are the first. But they are the first could have been countered by effective security apparatus. Now, how does the uh, Mahmoud explain the fact that some of his officers arrive at the position without the necessary material? Those are, I know of that, but I don't want to be emphasizing such things. But by pointing it out, we know where to. To, to, to take action. That's very unfortunate. And if that is rampant, take for instance at uh, in some places where you have promised us that all the materials have arrived at their location and they don't start until 12 o'clock. That is why we're having this delay. What is your explanation for that? And all the materials you need, you have told us, the government has given you. Why the delay? And there are reports that some of the officers don't arrive at the position at the correct, at the, at the correct time. On that one, he has a minus. So we, in fact, when, when I say he has done well, that doesn't mean I'm giving him 100%. He has done well if he has given 60 70%. He could have scored good or credit. You could have got that sort of percent in the age of this is not there. All right. So, uh Padre Banjo, let's still talk about um, the electoral violence that uh, you know, were recorded in some parts of um, the country. Uh, you know, I know you have talked about um, the place of um, security personnel and them living up to their jobs. Uh, but uh, a lot of people believe that it goes beyond uh, the the security personnel, that these issues could have actually been forestalled um, if uh, the young people have been better educated uh, so they would know how to channel their energies into, instead of uh, pushing them to other uh, vices that uh, would have actually marred the election um, of yesterday. Thank you very much. You see, when people try to live in denial, I don't support them. These are all trying to find excuses. When you know that you prefer, you, you prepare the antidote for that. That's why you are in government. That is why you are, to, you are put in charge. And I, there's no excuse for a principal who cannot discipline in school. 
No, es que soy, soy ya un carro comando y, 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 y platón. Pero ya, oh, this is all uh, excuses me, I know, but I'm too old to buy all those things. I'm used to it. I know all that, but I don't want to appear to be pointing out only to the defense. Those who will do their job have not done it. Let us face it. And it's from crazy, it's a collusion to read the election directly to the directly. And they want to make this election, they want to legitimize the fraud under which we are living to democratic means by rigging the election and saying they are born and the people have spoken by turning their road. So I'm aware of all that, Pastor. We are only giving excuses where we give allowance for plus or minus 10 percent accuracy and all that. Give allowance for human beings. That's why I'm saying, well, uh, Bamboo has done so well. By the agitation, I want this, I want that, and she produced a lot of things. But now this defect, I don't emphasize it, but to me, it will appear it's a collusion to them. But I don't emphasize that until there are more and more evidence. All it is on him. The question of a uh, surprise, they said they are who got no ballot papers. Does he not know how many voters are in that spot? And some people get to a place, they say, no, this is not the place to vote, go to another place. With all the noise you have made, all the bullshit you have made, and the, everything is perfect. So I don't want to be emphasizing in the Japan, what you are, is also critical of it. That's why I want to emphasize his positive side. Not unaware of, of some of the major defects. But if you talk about it now, you can see, take care of them before it goes worse. All right, Papa uh, Adibanjo, a lot of people have described the presidential election as historic and um, a three-horse race, uh, you know, specifically uh, between uh, among the PDP, the APC, and of course the Labour Party. And uh, before the elections, uh, there were uh, strategies and there were election lines uh, going on across the country. And uh, but. With what we saw yesterday, some states, specifically like Kaduna, uh, we hear of uh, voter apathy. Most people did not really come out as expected. Uh, why would you say that was? Uh, is it a, as a result of uh, the issues that led to the election, uh, the Naira crunch issue, or just that um, people don't actually believe in the electoral process of the country? You know, the man in China doing Kaduna. You see, there are many factors, in, there are many issues in this election which people are not honest or no. There are saboteurs among the government. There are saboteurs who don't, who don't, who don't like the way the election is undergoing or how the election will be. The government is not one on, on who should win the election and among themselves. All that is in fighting is going on and it's affecting the people. That is why we have an independent electoral commission to take care of all this and give us a good security uh, outfit to take care of those who want to mis who want to undermine the process. So this we will know. How can the government of, uh, of the state be criticizing his own president? Every five will not talk like that about a year ago. Countermanding what the federal government has done. That's every five, the stormy patron of APC. All that, what, what has the president done? Where some governors have their function to be openly criticizing, to openly to be committing treason. Asking people to, to do what the government says is not to be done. Oh, let me see. I don't want to be emphasizing all that you take us off the rail. I'm only concentrating that this is the only election that can get rid of all maladies. They are all maladies we know of. Those who are fighting among themselves now, they, they are privy to all these things. Only, only, only the, 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 the individuals are coming out now showing their tangos. Even those who are planned now to be saying they should do the right thing, they are privy to the, all the irregularities. 
But I, 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 I won't leave on that. People say that's suspicion, that's all that. I will join them and what is happening. The security, I know they are not honest. But if I say that, they say, but now, my evidence is, where are they? Where not this imperfection is taking place in Sudan and other places? With all the number of commissioners they sent to Lagos, people can see go to a police station and disrupt the place. And nobody was arrested. People, people can see assault a, a woman, caught his face. By the time they are doing all that, where are the security people, Mr. Bandon Man? I don't want to be emphasizing all that. You take us all the way. But the bold woman went for treatment and came back to vote. That is to show the determination of the people. I say, woman, who could have said, I would have said, I would have not come and die if I let me go to my house. After some serious, serious injury on the forehead. Let us face the facts. All right, uh, pa, are they bad? If one of you is true, you is true, my dear, this government is not honest about giving us a free and fair election. If they are honest, all these things we are pointing out ought not to take place. So, Padre Banjo, are you saying, if I got you uh, correctly, are you saying that this particular election, aside from the fact that you're saying that it's not um, uh, fair, are you saying that the election is not actually credible? No, 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 no. You press when you come to, you go with your, don't let me tell you what I think about you people. What I'm saying, you put me honestly. I'm too old to, to be misrepresented. I'm too old to say what I don't mean. I'm saying what I'm pointing out to the defense of the process. And you are coming to the conclusion I say it's not credible. When I am the man who has been praising uh, Mahmoud, and you say, you pointed out some of the defense, I say, well, no, I don't want to emphasize on that. I want to emphasize on the good work that he has done. Now you pick me up and say, well, is it not credible? Are you one of those who are behind the scenes to say, well, Pade Banjo, Pade Banjo yes. with all that we have seen from the elections of yesterday, uh, we choose Corinne Eynek very well and the security lapses that you have mentioned. What are the lessons to be learned uh, in future elections? So how do we better this particular election so that we get all of these issues sorted out? Now, I will send you to your colleagues. Where did you put that question before you put it to my mouth that I will say the election is not credible? I didn't say I was asking you to go to. No, 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 no. No, no. You said so. What I said if I got you correctly, Pade Banjo, maybe you didn't really get me right. You said that the election was not really fair because of um, people who actually were very vehement to vote and then thugs were attacking them. But a woman actually came out, despite all the issues, she actually came out to vote. So you said it was not really fair. I wanted you to explain if it was actually not just fair, but if it was actually credible. No, the one that I'm saying is one of the defects. I told you about the success of the play of plus or minus. Mm. I'm only pointing to the minus. That doesn't discredit all the other places that are fair. And then you run those concerns, it doesn't make it credible. I am aware of that before I give uh, Mahmoud all this thing. And I'm aware of that when I pointed out where it should make a mess, where our fears are. Some of the false which I think is not easy. That the that, that, that the need of security, I pointed them out. I don't live in denial, my friend. I call a spade a spade. I know that the body is there, but you should not know. They don't know that this election is religious and ethnic. They live in denial. All the question is they are not voting the Gaduna, they are not this the Gaduna. It is a decision on the east, it is on the east, but they will confess. The it is a currency, it is this, that, that, that. I am not going to emphasize what I have got uh, uh, proof of. What they have got proof of is that the mines do this, they get to the police station, there are no materials. They get to the police station, they did start the correct time, and that has effect on the number of people who vote. So all that is, uh, I don't want to mix it up. 
All right. So oh, going forward, now that we've got we've got your position clearly. Now going forward, with all of the hitches that uh, we experienced yesterday with um, Inoc, uh, Inoc, rather doing considerably well, how do we move forward to ensure that uh, when we conduct uh, elections in the future, that would actually not be talking about ballot box snatching and um, people going to the polls without having to wonder if they'll be attacked? You see. You are asking a question that is fundamental. To a person like me, this constitution must be fundamentally changed. Mm. And the method of putting people on the on island will, will be common to all. It will not be chosen by the government of the day. Those are all things that we are going to provide for, we are going to take care of, under the new constitution that we must make immediately after this election. And it's important. That is why we must make sure that it's not a person who can do it faithfully and vote for. That is why they are trying to put uh, uh, Gondo Muspana on the process of the election. But they fail. The man has won. Everybody has seen it. Any man go, man go, anybody try to do it. So it's all risk. Yeah, these are the reasons of Nigeria. I've said it before. You are now, when I said, if this election does not go one way, uh, I'm going to say, I don't have to talk about I don't know what I'm talking about. Mm. I'm not calling for violence. I'm only saying, don't do what is not right. If you do what is not right, people will react. That's all. All right, uh, we must say a very big thank you to you. We have been speaking with uh, the national leader of um, Afeni Feripa Ayo Adebanjo, and he has talked about um, the elections um, so far, how it went, and of course the breaches of uh, security that we had, and of course so what we need to do uh, going forward. A very big thank you to you, Pa Ayo Adebanjo. We do appreciate your time.